Today we're looking at every single way that you can send out an email within KB Core. You're gonna see how to send individual emails, how to create templates, how to create drips, and all that fun stuff. Now, knowing how to do this is extremely important so you can leverage KB Core to its fullest potential. But also knowing this is gonna help you avoid a lot of frustrations because if you don't know, where the emails are coming from or being sent out to your database, then you can have a ton of people getting a bit feisty because they continue getting property alerts, they continue getting emails, and you don't know what's causing them. Okay, so first things first, let's send out single emails. And in order to do that, we're gonna go to quick actions, go to send an email, and then put in the email address that we want to send this email to, copy anybody or blind copy anybody that we want. If we have a template, we can select the template from right here, or we can create the email from right here. So create here, but you can also go to the advanced editor, which changes the style of quite a bit to where you can add different images, different layouts, different video, all that fun stuff. So this is how you can create a professional looking email relatively easy and send it individually. Now, if you happen to have the contact already in your database, then you can just click on their profile and then go to send an email. This is how simple it absolutely is to create the single, uh, the singular emails just as you're seeing on the screen. So now let's create some templates. And in order to create a template, you're gonna go to marketing, go to smart campaigns, and you're gonna go right up here where it says templates. Here you have the ability of creating a template. Now, why do you wanna create a template? To make your workflow go faster. If you know that you're gonna send the same email at the same, to the same people or just different people altogether, as long as it's the same email, then you can create a template, an email template, so you can have it stored here. This way, whenever you have a closing as an example, and you want to have all of the action items that they need to bring or all the documents that they need to bring to closing, you can just put all of your thoughts in one singular email and create a template from it and then just select the clients that you're working with and send them that email very, very easy. Now, it is this template that is required or it's a template that's required to create your campaigns. So moving right into your smart campaigns. So what people are gonna, what people know smart campaigns here in KB Core, what that means to the outside world is your drip campaigns. So automations, in order for you, to, for you to create drip campaigns or smart campaigns, you have to create templates. So here you have to go through and set up your templates from the get go. So this is not necessarily optional. You have to create all of the emails that you wanna send out in your drip campaign or in your smart campaign as it's known here on KV Core. So you would go through and you would create your email one, um, email two, email three, and all that fun stuff. So you would go through, as you can see, I, I've done that many times. So YouTube, E1, thank you. And then YouTube, E2, so email two, YouTube, E3, uh, so email three, all that fun stuff. So you have to create your templates first in order to go and create your drips. So this is a drip right here. And in order to create a, a drip or a campaign, you would go through here and create your campaigns. You can trigger it when a lead is new, when the contact is transferred, where you attach a, a, a hashtag to trigger, and then unspecified um, when something specific happens. But here's the thing. I have a very extensive video on how to create smart campaigns. This is a video in and of itself, so I'll make sure that I link it up here. So make sure that you check that out. Just understand that you need to create your templates and then you need to create a smart campaign in order to launch these. Now, here's a big difference that you need to be aware of. With your smart campaigns, this happens the moment that a lead comes in. So there's a trigger point, something happens and that's when the leads go out. That I'm sorry, well, that's when the emails go out. That's what a drip campaign is designed to do. That's what a smart campaign is designed to do. All right, so now let's send some emails en masse. There are two ways to do that. We're gonna go over to our smart CRM and highlight the contacts that we want to send emails to. So as an example, if we want to send an email to all of these leads right here, then we're gonna go to the mass email and we're gonna create it from right here. So 
it's pretty simple. Now there is a limit. There is a limit amount of people that you can actually email from here. And depending on how many leads you have within your CRM, it doesn't make sense for you to go through and highlight every single one if you want all of these individuals to receive that email. So this is one way to send out mass email. So this is kind of like your, uh, your CCing or your blind carbon copying people. But you can also go through all marketing and then your schedule your mass emails through here. So when you go and schedule them through here, you're going to click on that and then you're going to schedule your email right here. And then you can filter out who you actually want to see your, your email. Now this is going to be in bulk. So it's going to be in mass. So it's going to, you can send it to your entire database to certain hashtags, to uh, a certain type of lead, whether a new lead or a past client, you're able to make that distinction right here. So that's why it's important that you categorize your contacts to the best of your ability. But just remember, you have two options when it comes to mass email, the one that I just showed you, and then this right here, which allows you to send to a lot more contacts at, at once. All right, so another type of email that you're gonna be sending through your CRM once you get clients and are working with them is through your property alerts. So I'm gonna click on one of these profiles right here, and you can see that I already have some alerts already set up. So I'm gonna click on here, and this is kind of like your safe search. You do this with your MLS already. You already set people up on the search and they get properties as they come up. So this is gonna come in the form of an email from you. So this is another way that emails are leaving your system from KV Core into somebody's inbox. So you need to understand how to turn them off because remember, there are gonna be emails that go out whether you know or not, you need to be able to identify, all right, I need to stop them from receiving emails because they're getting too many. And this is one way to stop the property alerts, but you can set them up right now. Every single profile has the max two alerts possibility. And in order for you to edit the search for the property alert, you just go to edit and you can do that through here. It's pretty simple. Now, assuming that somebody says, hey, stop emailing me, what are you doing? You can go through here, go to more actions, and then unsubscribe from emails, and all the emails are gonna stop. So again, this is one of the biggest things that gets us in trouble with KB Core. All of these emails go out and we're just not sure where they are going. So just be aware that that is happening. All right, so now on to behavioral automation. So let me X out of here and we're gonna go to marketing and we're gonna go to all marketing. And now you're gonna see manage your settings with behavioral automation. So let's read behavioral alerts are automatic communications sent to your contacts when they perform specific behaviors on your site. These alerts drive engagement, blah, blah, blah. So what did that just tell us? These are automatically going to happen. So if you have some of these toggled on, understand that whenever you import a lead, whether they came from your sphere, from your marketing, from paid advertising, as soon as these contact statuses happen, they are set into motion, into an automatic motion that you may not be aware of. So this is why I felt the need to share this entire video with you because KB Core is pretty robust. And if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna be sending out hundreds of emails and pissing off a lot of, a, a lot of people that could very well want to work with you, but they just get bombarded with so many emails. So just understand what to do. So with behavioral automation, you see, I have most of this turned off, but you can adjust the, um, you can adjust the behavior. So here you can turn off everything if you want it. So whenever somebody goes from, uh, from, uh, let's just say from a actively to closed, you can have certain behaviors attached to that. Um, and then it will automatically do that for you. As far as the behaviors, you can select which behaviors you want to turn off. As an example, if a lead revisits after 14 days, then there's an automatic email and an automatic text that goes out. So if one of your leads has been, you know, not necessarily searching any more properties because they either gave up or life got in the way, they were on vacation, what have you. So they put a pause and don't go into your website to search for properties in a while, let's call it 14 days. Well, after 14 days, if they come back and start looking at some of the properties, then the system KV core knows that, Hey, somebody came back, they're searching for, they're searching through properties again. Let's go ahead and send them a quick email and text 
to let them know that we're watching. So keeping them engaged. So this behavioral automation, this isn't something that you set up per se. This is something that happens already on the back end. What you can control is making, turning these on or turning these off, depending on context that contact statuses, the behaviors that you want monitored closely. And then when a new leader prospect responds, move to active. So this basically changes their status over to active right around. Where is it? Changes them to active. Well, so these are different ways that you can send out emails. You saw the single emails, you saw the mass emails, you saw the drip campaigns, which are called smart campaigns. You saw the property alerts, you saw the prop, you, the behavioral alerts. These are all the ways that you're sending out emails through KV course. So just having this basic understanding is going to help you absolutely thrive within the system. If you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell. I'll see you on the next one.